Peter Lawford was a prominent figure in the glamorous world of Hollywood, leaving an indelible mark on the film industry. Born into British nobility, he migrated to the United States and became a celebrated actor, renowned for his dashing looks and charming personality. Lawford's career spanned over four decades, during which he graced both the small and big screens. He first gained recognition in the 1940s with his roles in films like Mistress Parkington and Son of Lassie. However, it was his role as a member of the Rat Pack alongside Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., and Joey Bishop that catapulted him to stardom. Together, they produced several box office hits, including Ocean's Eleven and Sergeant's Three. Apart from his acting prowess, Lawford was also known for his political connections. He was married to Patricia Kennedy, the sister of President John F. Kennedy, and was a frequent guest at the White House during JFK's presidency. Lawford even played a role in facilitating the famous meeting between JFK and Sinatra at the Palm Springs estate. Despite his success, Lawford's personal life was fraught with challenges, including struggles with addiction and multiple divorces. However, his contributions to the entertainment industry remain significant, and his legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors and filmmakers to this day. Peter Lawford was a British-American actor and member of the famous Rat Pack in the mid-20th century. He appeared in over 50 films and was known for his roles in Ocean's Eleven and The Longest Day. Lawford also had a successful career on television, including a co-hosting role on The Ed Sullivan Show. Do you have a favorite Peter Lawford moment from his movies or TV shows? What sets him apart from other actors of his time, in your opinion? We would love to hear about your cherished memories or personal experiences related to this classic star. Share them with us in the comments below. Throughout this video, we will share many surprising, funny, and even sad facts about Peter Lawford, so make sure to keep watching. Peter Lawford was born in London in 1923 into a family of actors and aristocrats. His mother, Lady Lawford, was a British actress, and his father, Sidney Lawford, was a British Army officer. Peter's grandfather was the first Lord Burnham, a prominent newspaper proprietor. This privileged background exposed Peter to the world of acting at a young age. Peter's parents divorced when he was five, and he was sent to a series of boarding schools. Despite the distance from his family, Peter's interest in acting grew. He started performing in school plays and developed a love for the craft. After leaving school, Peter followed in his family's footsteps and pursued a career in acting. One of Peter's earliest influences was his uncle, Jack Lawford, a well-known British actor. Jack introduced Peter to the theater world and encouraged him to pursue acting. Peter's mother also played a significant role in his career, using her connections to help Peter get his first acting jobs. In the 1940s, Peter moved to the United States and began working in Hollywood. He quickly became a popular leading man, appearing in films such as Son of Lassie and Royal Scandal. Peter's career continued to flourish throughout the 1950s and 1960s, with notable roles in A Star is Born and The Longest Day. Throughout his career, Peter worked with many notable actors and directors, including Frank Sinatra, John Ford, and Alfred Hitchcock. These experiences further shaped Peter's acting style and solidified his place in Hollywood history. In addition to his work in film, Peter was also known for his work in television. He was a regular on the popular variety show The Ed Sullivan Show, and later starred in the television series The Thin Man. Despite his success, Peter's personal life was often tumultuous. He struggled with addiction and was married five times, including to Patricia Kennedy, sister of President John F. Kennedy. However, Peter's contributions to the world of acting remain significant and his legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors today. Peter Lawford was a British-American actor who significantly influenced the film industry during his era and beyond. He began his career in the 1930s as a child actor and quickly became a popular leading man in Hollywood. Lawford's charm, good looks, and versatile acting skills made him a favorite among audiences and critics alike. During the 1940s and 1950s, Lawford appeared in numerous films, including Son of Lassie, Mistress Miniver, and It's a Great Feeling. He also became a member of the famous Rat Pack, a group of actors and entertainers that included Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and Sammy Davis Jr. The Rat Pack was known for their wild parties on and off-screen antics in popular films, such as Ocean's Eleven and Robin and the Seven Hoods. 
Lawford's influence extended beyond his acting career. He was married to Patricia Kennedy, sister of President John F. Kennedy, and became close friends with the Kennedy family. Lawford used his connections to help further the political careers of his in-laws and even served as the master of ceremonies at JFK's inaugural gala. In addition to his acting and political connections, Lawford was also a successful businessman. He owned several nightclubs and restaurants, including the famous Daisy Nightclub in Beverly Hills. Lawford's business ventures helped to shape the Hollywood nightlife scene and provided opportunities for up-and-coming actors and musicians. Lawford's contributions to Hollywood are still felt today. His charm, good looks, and versatile acting skills made him a beloved figure in the film industry. His influence as a member of the Rat Pack and his connections to the Kennedy family helped to shape the political and social landscape of Hollywood. And his business ventures helped to create a vibrant nightlife scene that continues to thrive today. In conclusion, Peter Lawford was a significant figure in the film industry who influenced Hollywood during his era and beyond. His acting career, political connections, and business ventures helped to shape the entertainment landscape and continue to be felt today. Peter Lawford's passion for acting was ignited during his childhood. As a member of the well-known British acting family, the Falconers, he was introduced to the world of entertainment at a young age. His mother, Lillian, was a successful actress, and his father, General Sir Henry Lawford, was a prominent figure in the British military. However, it was his aunt, Nancy, who played a pivotal role in fueling his desire to become an actor. Nancy, also known as Lady Ravensdale, was a prominent society figure and a patron of the arts. She recognized Peter's potential and encouraged him to pursue a career in acting. At the age of 14, Peter was sent to study at the prestigious Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in London. It was here that he honed his craft and developed a deep love for acting. During his time at RADA, Peter appeared in several stage productions, including Hamlet. and Henry V, he also had the opportunity to work with some of the most renowned actors and directors of his time. These experiences solidified his passion for acting, and he decided to pursue it as a career. After completing his studies at RADA, Peter moved to Hollywood and began his journey as a professional actor. He appeared in numerous films and television shows throughout his career, including Royal Wedding, It Should Happen to You, and The Thin Man. He also became a member of the famous Rat Pack, alongside Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., and Joey Bishop. Throughout his career, Peter remained dedicated to his craft and continued to push himself as an actor. He was known for his charm, wit, and versatility and his contributions to the world of entertainment will always be remembered. Peter Lawford is known for his role as Jimmy Foster in the film Ocean's Eleven. Interestingly, the basic story of the film was first told to Lawford by director Gilbert Kay, who had heard the idea from a gas station attendant. Lawford later bought the rights to the story in 1958, initially envisioning William Holden for the lead role. In addition to Ocean's Eleven, Lawford also lent his voice to the film Ziegfeld Follies. In the segment number, Please, Lawford provided the voice of Jeffrey Kirsten, marking one of his earliest assignments at MGM. Moreover, Lawford and Janet Lee narrated the trailer for the film Little Women. In this adaptation of the classic novel, Lawford played the role of Laurie. Overall, Peter Lawford's contributions to the film industry are noteworthy, and his talent as an actor is evident in the diverse range of roles he played throughout his career. Peter Lawford, a British actor, faced several challenges as he tried to make a name for himself in the American film industry. Born into a wealthy British family, Lawford moved to America at a young age and struggled financially after his father lost the family fortune in the stock market crash of 1929. Despite his family's privileged background, Lawford had to work odd jobs to support himself while pursuing his dream of becoming an actor. He faced skepticism from industry professionals who doubted his talent and dedication due to his privileged upbringing. Lawford's resilience and determination helped him overcome these obstacles. He took acting classes and worked tirelessly to perfect his craft. He also used his charm and wit to network with influential people in the industry, eventually landing a contract with MGM Studios. However, Lawford's path to success was not without setbacks. He struggled with alcoholism and was involved in several high-profile scandals, including his tumultuous relationship with the Kennedy family. 
Despite these challenges, Lawford continued to work in film and television, appearing in over 60 films and becoming a household name. Lawford's story is a testament to the power of resilience and determination in the face of adversity. He proved that with hard work and dedication, anyone can overcome obstacles and achieve their dreams. Peter Lawford, known for his role as Jimmy Foster in Ocean's Eleven, had a unique filming schedule due to the nighttime performances of most cast members in Las Vegas. Joey Bishop would arrive at 9 a.m., Lawford in the mornings, Dean Martin and Sammy Davis Jr. in the afternoon, and Frank Sinatra in the evening. In his early career, Lawford worked as an usher at the Westwood Village Theater in Los Angeles, where many of his films would later premiere. The massage scene with Lawford in Ocean's Eleven was humorously referenced in the 1964 James Bond film Goldfinger during a brief encounter between Sean Connery and his blonde Massey, Pink. Peter Lawford's career had several breakthrough moments that showcased his versatility and talent. In 1944, he signed a contract with MGM, which marked the beginning of his film career. His roles in movies like Good News and Easter Parade brought him recognition and popularity. One of his most significant breakthroughs came with the film Royal Wedding, where he starred alongside Fred Astaire. Lawford's performance was praised, and he was able to demonstrate his dancing skills alongside a Hollywood legend. This role further established him as a leading man in Hollywood. In the mid-1950s, Lawford transitioned to more dramatic roles. His performance in A Star is Born was highly acclaimed, and he was able to hold his own against co-star Judy Garland. This role showcased his versatility as an actor, and his ability to handle both comedic and dramatic material. Another breakthrough moment in Lawford's career was his involvement with the Rat Pack, a group of actors and entertainers that included Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and Sammy Davis Jr. Lawford's membership in this group led to his role in the film Ocean's Eleven, which was a major success and remains a classic in the heist genre. Lawford's career was also marked by his work in television. He starred in the popular series The Thin Man and International Detective. His work in television demonstrated his ability to adapt to different mediums and his continued popularity with audiences. Throughout his career, Peter Lawford's breakthrough moments were marked by his versatility, talent, and ability to adapt to different roles and mediums. His contributions to both film and television have left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Peter Lawford's acting career included co-starring with Elizabeth Taylor in the films Julia Misbehaves and Little Women. Years later, Taylor helped him secure a role in her television movie Malice in Wonderland, but his failing health forced his replacement before filming began. In the movie They Only Kill Their Masters, Lawford played Lee Campbell and drove a 1972 Triumph Stag, Triumph's luxury V8 muscle car of the 70s. Lawford's friendship with Frank Sinatra ended in 1962 when the Kennedy administration, of which Lawford was a part, politically distanced themselves from Sinatra due to his mafia ties. Sinatra blamed Lawford and severed their friendship. Lawford was replaced by Bing Crosby in the Rat Pack movie Robin and the Seven Hoods. When Lawford later attempted to reconcile with Sinatra during a Las Vegas performance, Sinatra reportedly refused to perform until Lawford left the showroom. Peter Lawford, a British-American actor, was known for his charming and sophisticated on-screen presence. He approached his work with a unique blend of confidence and versatility, often playing roles that required him to switch between different accents and character types with ease. Lawford's ability to adapt to various roles was due in part to his extensive training in theater and his experience performing in a variety of stage productions. One of the things that set Lawford apart from his contemporaries was his unique sense of style and charm. He had a natural ability to connect with audiences and make them feel at ease, which made him a popular leading man in films and television shows throughout the 1950s and 1960s. Lawford's personal experiences, including his upbringing in a prominent British family and his later life in America, also influenced his work as an actor. He often brought a sense of sophistication and class to his roles, while also infusing them with a touch of humor and wit. Lawford's worldview was shaped by his experiences as a public figure and his involvement in politics. He was a member of the famous Rat Pack, a group of Hollywood stars who were known for their wild parties and political activism. Lawford's political connections and activism also influenced his work as an actor and he often used his platform to speak out on issues that were important to him. 
Overall, Peter Lawford's artistic vision and process were shaped by his unique experiences, training, and worldview. His ability to adapt to various roles, combined with his charm and sophistication, made him a beloved figure in Hollywood and a lasting influence on the world of entertainment. Peter Lawford is known for his role as Jimmy Foster in the film Ocean's Eleven. Interestingly, Lawford was the first to hear about the basic story of the film from director Gilbert Kay, who had heard it from a gas station attendant. When Frank Sinatra first heard the idea, he suggested they actually pull off the heist instead of making a movie. In addition to Ocean's Eleven, Lawford starred in the film Little Women is Lori. A radio adaptation of the movie was broadcast on the Screen Guild Theater on December 22, 1949, with June Allison and Peter Lawford reprising their movie roles. Several actors from Little Women also appeared in Ocean's Eleven, including Henry Silva, Sammy Davis Jr., Joey Bishop, and Hank Henry. Although Peter Lawford did not appear on screen in Ocean's Eleven, he served as the film's executive producer and appeared in the theatrical trailer. A Dean Martin recording was also played during a dance scene on the yacht. Peter Lawford was a significant figure in the film and television industry, particularly during the 1950s and 1960s. As an actor, he was known for his roles in films like Easy Living and It Should Happen to You, as well as his work on the small screen in shows like The Thin Man and Lawford's USA. Lawford's impact on the industry can be seen in his contribution to the development of the Rat Pack, a group of actors and entertainers known for their cool, sophisticated style and on-screen chemistry. Lawford was a key member of this group, which included stars like Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and Sammy Davis Jr. together. They popularized a new kind of masculinity and camaraderie on screen, influencing trends in both film and fashion. In addition to his work with the Rat Pack, Lawford was also known for his political connections and activism. He was married to Patricia Kennedy, sister of President John F. Kennedy, and was actively involved in the Democratic Party. This gave him a unique platform to advocate for social and political issues, further cementing his influence in the industry and beyond. Industry experts and those inspired by Lawford have praised his contributions to the field. Director and producer Steven Spielberg, for example, has cited Lawford as an inspiration for his own work, noting his incredible charm and charisma on screen. Actress and singer Liza Minnelli, who was close with Lawford and the rest of the Rat Pack, has also spoken about his impact, noting his extraordinary talent and generosity. Overall, Peter Lawford's contributions to the film and television industry were significant and far-reaching. His work with the Rat Pack helped to define a new kind of masculinity and on-screen chemistry, while his political activism and connections gave him a unique platform to advocate for social and political issues. His influence can still be seen today in the work of modern actors and filmmakers who continue to be inspired by his talent, charm, and charisma. Peter Lawford's journey to citizenship in 1960 was driven by his desire to support his brother-in-law, John F. Kennedy, in that year's presidential election. Interestingly, Lawford's own paternity was a complex matter. He was born before his parents were married and given his mother's husband's surname at the time. It wasn't until he turned 27 that Lawford discovered his biological father's identity and his own ensuing illegitimacy. Angus McFadden and Ian Buchanan have both portrayed Lawford in films, reflecting his enduring influence in Hollywood. Despite the challenges he faced early on, Lawford managed to build a successful career as an actor even if he kept his personal life's complexities out of the spotlight. Peter Lawford, an English-American actor, was known for his charming personality both on and off screen. He was a part of the famous Rat Pack, a group of Hollywood stars who were close friends and often appeared together in movies and nightclubs. Lawford's personal life was as fascinating as his professional one. He was married to Patricia Kennedy, the sister of President John F. Kennedy, which gave him a unique position in American politics. Lawford was a devoted family man and often spoke about the importance of family values. He was a loving father to his four children and was known to be very protective of them. His family life often influenced his work as he preferred roles that allowed him to spend time with his family. In addition to his acting career, Lawford was also passionate about philanthropy. He was involved in various charitable causes including the American Cancer Society and the Muscular Dystrophy Association. He often used his fame to raise awareness and funds for these organizations. 
Lawford's philanthropic efforts were a reflection of his personal values as he believed in giving back to the community and helping those in need. Lawford's love for the ocean was another one of his personal interests that influenced his work. He was an avid sailor and often spent his free time sailing. This love for the ocean led him to become involved in environmental causes related to the ocean. He was a strong advocate for protecting the ocean and its marine life. In conclusion, Peter Lawford was not just an actor, but also a devoted family man, a philanthropist, and an environmentalist. His personal values and interests often influenced his work, and he used his fame to make a positive impact on the world. Lawford's legacy continues to inspire people to this day, reminding us of the importance of family, giving back to the community, and protecting our environment. Peter Lawford's acting career included a variety of roles and co-stars. In the film Mistress Miniver, he had an uncredited role as a pilot, delivering the line the Jerry's are over London in the hundreds at the airfield. Lawford was known for his romantic connections with several leading ladies of the time, including Lana Turner, Ava Gardner, Dorothy Dandridge, June Allison, Rita Hayworth, Lee Remick, Kim Novak, Judy Holliday, and Evelyn Keyes, as well as socialite Charmin Douglas in Melissa Weston. One of Lawford's notable roles was in the film They Only Kill Their Masters, where he starred alongside June Allison and Anne Rutherford. The three actors had previously worked together at MGM, and this film marked a reunion for them, being the last to be shot on the studio's back lot before it was sold. Lawford and Allison had previously co-starred in Good News and Little Women, and also appeared separately in Girl Crazy. Peter Lawford left a significant mark in the acting industry with his diverse roles and charm. His legacy includes numerous films and TV appearances, as well as his involvement in the Rat Pack, a famous group of entertainers in the mid-20th century. For those aspiring to follow in his footsteps, Lawford would likely advise them to hone their craft, be versatile, and stay true to themselves. He might suggest learning from various experiences and taking on different roles to discover their unique strengths and talents. In terms of future contributions, the acting industry continues to evolve with new platforms and opportunities for aspiring professionals. By embracing technology and staying open to change, they can contribute to the industry's growth and innovation. Lawford would likely encourage aspiring actors to be resilient and persistent, as success in the industry often requires overcoming obstacles and persevering through rejection. By staying dedicated and committed to their goals, they can make a lasting impact and leave their own legacy in the acting world. Peter Lawford, born in London, gained fame for his role as Lord Lovat in the film The Longest Day. In the Spanish-language version, Fernando Rey and Jesus Puente dubbed Henry Fonda and Peter Lawford. Lawford's mother called him Pirate during his childhood, which he spent in France. In Sargent's Three, Lawford portrayed Sergeant Larry Barrett, marking his last Rat Pack film project. Unfortunately, a falling out with Frank Sinatra led to a permanent rift in their friendship. Despite this, Lawford's acting career remained noteworthy, with his roles in various films leaving a lasting impact. Peter Lawford led a remarkable journey in the entertainment industry as an actor. Born into a prominent British family, he found his passion in acting and moved to America to pursue his dreams. Lawford's career spanned over four decades, during which he made his mark in films, television, and even music. He was known for his charming personality and good looks which helped him become a popular leading man in the 1940s and 1950s. Lawford's innovative approach to his craft allowed him to excel in various genres, from comedies and dramas to musicals and thrillers. One of Lawford's most notable contributions to the entertainment industry was his role as a founding member of the Rat Pack, a group of Hollywood stars known for their camaraderie, both on and off screen. Together with Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., and Joey Bishop, Lawford helped create a unique blend of style, humor, and charisma that continues to resonate with audiences today. Despite facing personal and professional challenges throughout his career, Lawford never lost his passion for storytelling and his commitment to his craft. His enduring impact on the entertainment industry is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. In the end, Peter Lawford's life and career serve as a powerful reminder that with hard work, dedication, and a little bit of innovation, anyone can leave their mark on the world and make a lasting impact. If you're a fan of classic Hollywood, you won't want to miss out on the work of Peter Lawford. As an actor, 
Lawford was known for his charisma and versatility, appearing in a wide range of films throughout his career. From his early roles in the 1940s to his later work in the 1970s, Lawford left his mark on the entertainment industry. Some of Lawford's most memorable roles include his performance in Easy Living alongside Vincent Price, as well as his work in the popular Oceans film series. But Lawford's contributions to entertainment go beyond just his acting. He was also a talented singer and dancer, and even hosted his own television show, The Peter Lawford Show, in the 1960s. Lawford's legacy continues to be celebrated by fans and industry professionals alike. His work has helped to shape the entertainment landscape, and his talent and charm continue to resonate with audiences today. We want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Peter Lawford's work and legacy? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoy this content, please be sure to like and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe for more great content celebrating the creative spirits who have shaped entertainment.